FitWit's coverage of CES 2017 is brought to you by Fractal Design, MSI, and CableMod. Check out the links in the description below, or check out the links in the description below. It's your choice. We are now rolling up to the Inwin booth. I always love checking out Inwin. They've always got some cool stuff. Let's check it out. All right, so many of you guys are already a fan of the Inwin 303. It was a very successful case that was sort of unexpected from a company like Inwin, where uh, it just it just had a lot of cool features going for it, had a really unique look. Um, well, they've actually taken that same sort of idea, that concept of a case, and shrunk it down like a lot of case vendors do. But actually, this is really, really, really cool. This is the Inwin 301, and it's kind of like the smaller brother of the 303. You can see it's still got sort of the same look, same case feet, same sort sort of a matte finish on the front with the LEDs uh, at the front. Unfortunately, the LEDs right now are, are red, and I think that's just how they're going to stay. Of course, you don't have to connect that, uh, whether it's a Molex or SATA plug, if you didn't want to, if you wanted to just leave the LEDs off. However, you also do get uh, some tempered glass on the side. I do like the, uh, the latch system, that they're sticking with that. I think that is a huge plus. Thank you very much, Paul. Paul just uh, rolled in. Uh, if you look at the internals here, you can see this is definitely a case that's built for water cooling despite being a mini ITX uh, form factor. So you've got a 240 millimeter radiator at the front there. Looks like they've already got uh, a pump and reservoir attached to the front with a special bracket that is, of course, not included. Um, you also get, uh, depending on how much hardware you want to put at the front, you can get full uh, hardware support for, for a GPU. Uh, you've got uh, kind of an, in an interesting uh, layout in terms of storage and power supply. Power supply and storage are both at the top of the case. You can see they've actually included a shroud there so even if you have like a hideous sticker on your unit uh, you're totally safe from it looking horrendous storage is also right there three and a half or two and a half inch right up there at the front and then at the bottom you've got some fans you've got airflow actually coming from the bottom of your chassis uh, those, are, those are two 120s and you've got another 120 at the back the fans that you're seeing here are in wind's own line of RGB uh, chassis fans so these are not included with the case but again the main appeal here the main draw is to have something that you can kind of carry around tote with you if you need to or if you just don't want to take up too much desk space um, while still having quite a bit of water cooling potential. They're still messing around with the MSRP for this. I told them maybe $70 to $80. I mean, you are getting tempered glass. You are, you are getting some decent water cooling support, and it just looks pretty badass. Again, the uh, the, the thing that made the Inwin 303 so popular is that it was just a really aggressive price point at you know $89 or so, depending on where you got it. So they can't go too much further than that with the 301 but uh, it's looking pretty promising so far. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Speaking of user feedback, um, this is an Inwin 303, but it's kind of an OEM design. You can see on the front, it looks completely different than what we've seen on the uh, traditional retail version. So they've kind of got like a gloss finish here. Um, there's also no branding. There's like, there's zero branding. Uh, instead of having the Inwin logo right there, it's just completely blank. Inwin was uh, just telling me that they were thinking about having users um, design or, or etch in their own logo. Um, make it kind of like an OEM feel to customize it even further. Internals here are all the same. The only th difference here is that front panel. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like the gloss finish with uh, minimalistic branding, or do you prefer the uh, traditional Inwin 303 look? I, I kind of told them uh, like a hybrid would be good. Like give users the matte finish without the branding, and I think everyone will be happy. But that that could be just me. Let me know in the comments what you think. And this is especially. Um, needing your user feedback right here. This is also an Inwin 303. However, they've messed around with some of the internal layouts as well. Uh, first off, RGB LEDs. I think that was just a, a long time coming. I think as soon as I saw this case, the first thing I, I thought was, why can I only have like red or white LEDs or red or red or blue LEDs? That just doesn't make sense. So RGB, I think, is definitely something that many of you guys will be like, kind of roll your eyes like, oh, of course it's now RGB. But at the same time, it is kind of nice having that option to, to select whatever color you want based on the, uh, the, the scheme that you're going for. Also, the other difference you'll see here, it's kind of hard to tell. Let me go ahead and take this panel off. Do, 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 do. With these tempered glass panels, I always get nervous at these conventions. But the other big difference here um, is that you'll see that the GPU is now mounted, mounted vertically. So it does cover up some of the motherboard. Uh, however, it does also show off more of your GPU shroud. So, I don't know, I think this kind of ties in really nicely with the, the fact that the fans or the radiator support is mounted in that sort of vertical orientation as you see up there. It kind of just goes hand in hand, in my opinion. But some of you guys might feel differently. So let me know in the comments what you think. Do you like it like this, vertical orientation, or more of the traditional, original, um, kind of a horizontal layout there? 
Let's go ahead and see the last case that we're checking out here at the booth and we'll wrap this up. All right, guys, this is the last case we're checking out here today at Inwin. Um, this is the Tau 2.0. Apparently there was a Tau 1.0 that I've never even heard about. So when I saw this, I was like, ooh, brand new case. Um, it's kind of more of a refined case that they made some updates to since the last one. So uh, speaking of which, the first one is this LED touch sensor, which Paul can so eloquently demonstrate. Uh, so I guess, yeah, that's, that's totally functional. I'm not sure if this is just like a prototype because it's not really working. The power button works because clearly Paul just turned everything off. Um, but apparently that, that uh, finger sensor, you can slide it up and down and change the, uh, the LED brightness um, on there. I believe those are fixed LEDs in terms of color. I don't believe you can change the actual color of them. The other uh, addition that they've made here, or the uh, revision, is that they've actually increased the, the thickness of the tempered glass from three to five millimeters. So it does look pretty beefy. Um, I will say it's, it, it does look nice. It kind of looks like this polygonal texturized thing. I, I, I don't know. It kind of looks like dark crystal status um, you know, from, from the future. The other last addition that they've made here is that they've included dual three 360 rad support so you get 360 at the front and the top um, for pretty much any kind of water cooling customization you might want to throw in there. Um, overall, a pretty insane looking rig. Uh, I will say the one the one shortcoming that I would say is, and, and this is kind of just, you know, constructive criticism hopefully to Inwin is stop making your power supplies proprietary because, uh, why? Because th th that kind of limits the functionality. You can't actually pop this power supply into a different case should you uh, decide to do so in the future. Um, however, it is a pretty, pretty nice power supply. It is 80 plus certified, I believe platinum maybe, maybe even I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that, but it is 1065 watts. Uh, I forget the exact model name. Um, of course, Inwin is also known for their really high quality power supplies. I would just uh, hope to see uh, less proprietary versions of that in the future. But that is going to do it for now, guys. This has been Inwin at CES 2017. I'm with Paul. Hey! Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more coverage coming really soon. Thank you to my sponsors, MSI, Fractal Design, and Cable Mod. Go ahead and check out their stuff in the... Stop it! Stop it, Paul! Do not subscribe to Paul's channel. In fact, you should unsubscribe if you are already subscribed. Nope. You, you go away. You stay out of my videos. You stay out. Alright, guys. I gotta go. Screw you, Paul!